not really sure how to start this. I'm not used to talking to the camera uh, anymore. But it is the week after the election, 2024. Donald Trump is our new president. And I've been trying to complete an album. Maybe for like three months, four months. I don't. I don't even know. It started. It started really organically. Like, um, I was just making music, and I was making it all sequentially in one file. So the songs were all sort of one composition, um, leading into one another, and. I just kept going and going and and now I have this huge sort of conglomerate like this big pile of music um and then on top of that I was doing like collaborations and just had like a lot of irons in the fire and so the uh file never got fully completed and it's kind of I like it a lot. <laughs> I like it a lot. And um, I just have to buckle down and like get it together, do some editing, do some mixing, um, and put in the work to make it good, essentially. Like I, I need to, I need to just, get my shit together. So gonna, I'm going to do that and maybe document that here. Um, I don't feel like being creative, but I also don't know where to put my energy right now. I don't know sort of what the next steps are for existing right now in America. <laughs> it's just, it's just so absurd that we've come to this point, um, in our history. And, um, I feel like if I don't retract from consuming news or consuming media or consuming social media and take that energy and put it into being as creative as possible, that I'm going to spiral to the point of detriment to myself. And I'm not using the gifts that God gave me. I'm not using the talent that he's provided me to create a more positive environment around myself at the moment. And that's sort of like, um, that's sort of a goal of mine overall is to leave things creatively in a better place than I found them. And so I plan on documenting that here. Um, here, I think a lot of people in my life know that for a long time I loved documenting my life through video and then my life changed drastically when um I came out at 34 and I decided to stop documenting that because it felt very disingenuous it felt very performative and looking back on it when I stopped documenting my life and my son's life and my partner's life I lost a lot. Um, I, I, I have been going back and watching old YouTube videos that I made in the 2010s and just really enjoying seeing my son as a baby and um, seeing my life then and seeing how making videos pushed me 
out of my comfort zone and it pushed me um to to do things to better myself like I loved making videos but I also got really into running and I got really into the gym and and a lot of things that were really healthy for me because I needed content to to fill out the videos and to fill out the story and so not that I'm starting to make video content now because I need to go to the gym which I definitely definitely need to go to the gym um but I'm hoping that making the videos will allow me to reflect on myself a bit more um and to take the things I learned from making those videos and evolve it into something more genuine um and less performative I want to be able to voice when I'm struggling I want to be able to go back and sort of review my behavior or my thoughts or just whatever's going on around me and making those videos editing them and posting the content online or not posting the content online like just having them for myself um, I think is very valuable. So I bought a camera again, um, and I am going to just start filming stuff and see where it lands. I think sometimes you have to film with intention. Like, um, that was definitely something that like the vlogging error taught me was that um, sometimes you have to film with a goal in mind and then sometimes you don't, sometimes you, you just film and see what happens and just enjoy, uh, the act of creating and hopefully leave something for Max when he's older that humanizes us a bit and that allows him a window into our lives that um, he wouldn't have had otherwise because I'm losing my grandmother right now who means the world to me and the one thing that scares me is that all I have left are the memories and you know maybe some some physical objects of hers but I don't have any like real solid documentation of like her personality or her memories or, um, you know, all, all that she was or is as a human, um, exists inside our brains and inside her brain. And, you know, there's a few like little home movies and reel to reels and, and lots of pictures, but, um, over the past, say, eight to ten years, I haven't been really good about filming or documenting or taking photos. Not because I was ashamed of my life at that point, but because I was just so caught up in trying to figure out who I was again. And I was really caught up in establishing relationships and working and building my career and, and, um, I think it would be really nice for Max and for other people in my lives to have sort of solid documentation of, of who I am. And that's kind of what the music thing is about too. It's, I, I hesitate to say it's about a legacy, um, or like leaving a legacy, but it's definitely about, capturing a moment in time and presenting that as art and um yeah I hope to leave behind something that is a genuine reflection of myself 
Um, so I've just been thinking about that a lot. And yeah, uh, if you're watching this and you're a friend or acquaintance or whatever, you know, and you don't see me with a camera in my hand in the next six months, uh, give me a hard time because I definitely have all the resources at my disposal now to create video content to go along with the other things that I'm doing as an artist. Um, and I think I've not perfected the craft of making music, but I'm definitely a lot more skilled now technically than I ever have been. And, um, I can make these videos really quickly and easily, and there's no reason to not have some documentation of what my life is like at this point. Um, I've just, I've just been too lazy to, to do it. And I think now with everything that's going on in the world, I have to kind of cut that shit out and really get down to business um, and really make some fun, cool, interesting stuff before it's too late, before time runs out. And with everything that's going on with my grandmother and my mom and dad getting older and all of that sort of thing, there's no, there's nothing that's been more at the front of my mind than the amount of time that I have left to create and make something uh, worth leaving behind. So anyways, didn't mean to turn this into a 10 minute rant, but, but here we are. <laughs> All right, let's see, let's see where this goes.